Hello. Welcome to week two of the randomizer. Thank you for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. I reviewed my footage from week one and uh, I have a few things that I would like to improve. It's been a while since I've done this, so thank you for your grace during the, these trying times. My main objective I would say is less rambling and more progress. That is my goal for week two and hopefully subsequent weeks. The present. Catch up. No thank you. Yeah, I am not used to this. It's been a minute. And the randomizer is kind of a, an interesting... It's an interesting game to do an LP of, because I'm both fam familiar with it and not. Too many stag beetles. So I want to explain stuff, but at the same time, I'm not playing a game that I... or a version of a game that I have muscle memory for. So I can't, it's harder to, to talk while I do stuff. Not at the moment. But if I end up fighting more mushrooms, I may need to come back to be the mushroomized treasure. Holmes hat. Does that help anyone? How come Ness isn't wearing a hat? He should be. Oh, I probably gave the hat to people who need the defense more. Yeah, Mario already has a Holmes hat. And is lagging behind a bit with, with defense, although his offense is pretty good. Mario's a bit of a glass cannon so far. Hopefully I can find some more equipment to make Mario able to absorb some more damage. So I haven't identified this track. Back into the final dungeon. Yeah, if anyone knows what some of the music playing is, please let me know in the comments. I was able to identify one piece of music by posting it on the Fediverse, which is Mastodon and etc. And, and that was cool. But m a lot of the music, I just don't know what it is. This is uh, Onet. In fact, I just left Ness's house. Or is that Pokey's house? I, th I think Ness lives next door. That's where the meteor normally is. That starts the... Starts the adventure off. Also, those look like real UFOs up there. Which may be... Hey! That plant is looking for a fight. Oh, it's another Sprout Captain. Question mark's kind of a uh, beef lord as far as hit points go. Yeah, UFOs may present trouble. It's probably the the least dangerous form of UFO, but there are multiple UFOs. Top victorious claw. Okay. Yeah, Ness and Mario are, are Beast Lords. That's weird. That text wasn't centered. Uh, Ness and Mario doing some good damage. Monty is up a level. Pretty decent hit point boost. Alright, UFO. It's just you and me. I have identified you. As an ultra-hesitating UFO. Well, that sounds good. Uh, Monty, you use fire on these... Fire on, on the Sprout Captains. And everyone else, uh, take out the UFO. Hopefully it continues hesitating. Looks like it won't get a chance to. Okay, fire not necessary. Yeah, the, the U1 text is centered again. Question mark up a level. Ooh, the old Sigma. That's good. 
So in the randomizer, Onet is kind of split off into different areas, and this junk piled up here is what's preventing me from exploring the whole level. No. Oh, thank you. I don't know who you are, but you look pretty cool to me. I don't have purple hair. If I had purple hair, I would look omega cool. Yeah, the, the text isn't centered for the mole. That's strange. Mario up a level? Pretty crappy level. I'm sorry if I sort of speed through the level up text. Uh, I will try to vocally make note of any like important situation there. Yeah, you gotta get zombie insurance. Nest didn't get zombie insurance. That's how he ended up like this. There's the yellow submarine from Dungeon Man's Dungeon. This tree could could be a problem. Uh, in Vanilla Earthbound, trees explode after you defeat them, dealing damage to everyone. You're not guaranteed to do that in the randomizer, but just in case I will focus all my damage on the Sprout Captain first. You, you always want to defeat the exploding enemies last. Because of the nature of the... Yep, burst into flames. Oh, there, there goes the teddy bear. So, that would start dealing damage to everyone normally if it didn't hit the teddy bear. And the hit points would start rolling down. So, if you don't defeat the exploding enemies last, then... Probably your whole party will die because they're going to be busy fighting and their hit points will roll down. I, I didn't see how much damage that was, but I know it was a lot. Ness is level 16. Nice. Good hit point and magic point gain. That's... Batty King. Well, they can't all be the king. Uh, see what fire does. And let's see what freeze does. Then it's question mark. There's not a lot of point with in attacking with them. Nice. Ness getting a lot of crits. Uh, fire wasn't so good. But that's okay. Hey, Monty. It's your friend, Monty. Oh, well, that's a shame. Oh. So again, focus fire on the non-tree enemies. And then any attacks that target them after they're out of the battle will roll over to the tree. Yeah, the actual damage output is not a threat. Oh my god. Yeah, that was 300 damage to Mario. Oh baby, offense went up by 3. Okay, pretty decent level there for both characters. Treasure. Bottle of water? Nah. Hi. It's a different kind of mole. Oh, just a different sprite. It's still a top victorious claw. Ow. 
That kind of hurt. I need to get Mario a little, a little more defense somehow. I keep attacking with question mark because I kind of expect the other party members to to do the work. All right, let's give Mario a proper heal. Uh, let's use question mark. They have more magic points. Oh, it's one of these puppet kids. Windy doll and a poor marionette. Alright, I will have these three go after the front row and question mark can cast a freeze on the poor marionette. Really? Freeze didn't work. Although it did freeze it. Mm, these things have some, uh, some hit points. My, uh, my A button is sticking occasionally. Which sucks. Uh, hopefully that does not become an issue. There it goes again. Hmm, I may have to remap my controls. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm occasionally getting double inputs. Let me try wiggling the button a little bit and see if that helps. Oh no! Not my defense! What will I do without those two points of defense? Alright, I, I, I massaged the button a little bit. Let's see if that helps. I do have another controller, but it requires an adapter, a USB adapter, and all of my ports on this computer are currently spoken for. See, this was what I was talking about with the sewers. I don't think I can actually go this way, I think that rock is... No, this, this is a passage. So, let's see where this goes first. Okay, back to the volcano. Ooh! Well, we found... The boss of floor two. I just can't get there yet. Ribbon. I'll, ha I'll hang on to that to sell it. It might be worth a buck or two. All right. So I have a door, and I can. Oh, there's another boss. Okay, so. The, the boss with in the volcano must be part of a different floor. Uh, so the actual room where I would have access to that boss uh, is, isn't accessible from floor two, but this one is. Oh no, okay. So when you enter a room and a monster sprite starts slowly advancing towards you like that, that means it is a security robot. Which is a very strong enemy uh, for this early in the game. I may be able to defeat it. Um, I could use Mario's bottle rocket to get some additional damage. Are these things scared of me? Okay, so there's no other exits this way. So I think I'm going to go back, backtrack a little bit and explore some different paths because this way we have a security robot and a boss, neither of which I am fully confident in my ability to fight. So let, let's see where else we can go in this, this little section of Onet here. There's Pokey, just kind of chilling. I don't know what that sprite is supposed to be. Like a cloud? I'm not sure. The 
another bubble monkey. Hmm. We have a cultist here. Not as attractive in the brown robes with, with that sprite. Liquidated drone. Nice. Good job, question mark. You made that cultist turn back to normal. Of course, who knows what the baseline is. That might not be that much of an improvement. But better than being in a cult, I would wager. Moles are famously absent-minded. That's why they don't, they don't bother to center their victory text. So there's the, the Touring Entertainer Shack. Since I have the key to that, if I can get there, I would be able to open it and that would be a shortcut. cup of coffee. Um, surely someone needs a few hit points of healing after those exploding trees. Yeah, Monty, you drink this coffee. Twelve hit points. Eh. It must be instant coffee. If it were properly brewed coffee, that would be more than a 12 hit point gain. Oh, that was a bad level. Come on, Monty. You can do better than that. You have more hidden potential inside you, you can unlock. Okay, well, there's really not that much more to Onet in this direction. Uh, oh, you're not dreaming. Alright, well, I should be able to find my way back here pretty easily. And there is a hospital on the way, so if I do get wiped out, I should be able to uh, revive my party members. Although I don't think I've actually found a phone on floor 2 yet. Teleport beta. Lies. Oh, I don't like that. Muck Youth. Whatever that is in Base Earthbound is a pretty tough enemy. So I'm going to have... I'm going to have Monty use fire on the Weevils. Mario, shoot the Muck Youth, question mark, freeze the Muck Youth. Eh, that was okay. Yeah, my damage output overall is a lot better than my defense right now. So I feel powerful, but I'm still somewhat in danger. Which is a dangerous combination because if I get overconfident, that, that's an easy way to get wiped out. 
Kind of like I did with the, the boss of floor one. Uh... Yeah, I never know what to do with question mark because I don't think I need to waste magic points on this fight. But at the same time, I feel weird about just defending. But when I when I attack, it's one point of damage, so... I mean, I guess I could try to use Mirror more, but... Much like Prey, Mirror is kind of a, a crapshoot even even in the best of circumstances. This is a tough enemy. Uh, I think it's vulnerable to freeze. At least it is in, in normal Earthbound. Or I may be thinking of a different robot. Some robots are vulnerable to freeze and some aren't. Okay, this one is. Yeah, go back to the realm of fiction. I like this background. It reminds me of uh, the Color of Magic mini game in Wiz and Liz, which is a reference many people watching this probably uh, are not familiar with. Ugh. Get rid of that moist bear. I guess a basic lightning spell, like lightning alpha, is a pretty good default attack with question mark. Because it only costs three magic points. Thunder, rather. And if there's more than a couple enemies, it has a pretty good chance of hitting something. But I, I just used it when there was one monster left, and that's not, not advisable. Hey, life up beta. That's good. Decent level for Mario there. I'm leveling up at a pretty good pace. Although, I am sort of walking around in circles because I am delaying a potentially difficult fight. Oh, I wish there was a phone closer by. Uh, do I want to do that or do I want to try the boss? Oh, I don't have any money. I, I would need to find an ATM if I want if I need to pay to revive people. Alright, let's use a life up on question mark. Eventually I, I will get used to the controls. And a life up on Monty. And everyone should be good now. Alright, I will try the security robot first, because there may be more of this level to explore that way, which will potentially give me better equipment to fight this boss. I don't remember what boss this is. I should have, like, looked at that part of the video and maybe, like, taken a screenshot or something so I, so I know what all the bosses are, but that will be a task for future me. I don't know the secret code. Max Hasty Robot. Okay, I don't think this thing uses Psy. So... I'm going to spy and see if this thing has any 
any critical weaknesses. And I'm going to use my big bottle rocket. I, th I think now is the time. So question mark ar already has shield Sigma, which is great. Uh, it's not as good as shield Omega, um, but it still protects everyone from a uh, from a physical attack. Like not completely, it just reduces the damage. But I will use that. Nice. Okay. Well. Nice experience. Nice hit point gain on Monty. Oh my god. Question mark is turning into a beast. Psy magnet. Meh. Oh, this is just a treasure room. Oh well. And it's just a Mr. Baseball cap. Which... I think it's worse than the Holmes hat. Yeah, slightly. Is anyone not wearing a hat? Monty has a red ribbon. Mario has a Holmes hat. Question mark can't wear anything. Okay, something to sell next time I stumble across a shop. Whenever that might be. Going for a refreshing sewer swim. Maybe I should have saved the bottle rocket for this. Oh! Okay, well. Uh, I don't have a bottle rocket, but... Well, I was gonna say, but it still shouldn't be a problem, but who knows. What will happen when this thing actually get, gets an attack? Uh, let's try freeze. Okay, decent. Owl. Okay, well, good thing question marks uh, a beast lord. Okay, not vulnerable to fire. Somewhat vulnerable to freeze. Flash does nothing. Paralysis might work. That's a coin flip. Hypnosis is a coin flip. Okay. Well, let's try Paralysis, because that freezes an, a monster for an entire fight, whereas with Hypnosis they have a chance to wake up, and it, it's a 50-50 either way. Um... Question mark. Uh, heal thyself. Owl, okay. Well, that round did not go swimmingly. I did not get the coin flip. I will try the coin flip again. And I will... I should have used shield. I use a freeze. Ow, okay. P please kill this thing. Please. Oh no. Oh, not en not enough points. Okay. Well just a regular freeze then. Okay, well, that was not ideal. I would have liked Ness and Monty to get those experience points. But they'll level up, or they'll flatten out. Okay, pretty under underwhelming levels there. But that is another boss down, which means I will now progress to another floor. And we are just about at half an hour, so this makes it a good stopping point.
So this music is a reinterpretation of one of the uh, one of the Earthbound battle themes, which is clearly inspired by Johnny B. Good, and this interpretation turns it into actual Johnny B. Good. That's pretty cool. I would like to go after that treasure, but that thing on the wall will jump out and attack me. So I'm going to cut the video here, leave it on an exciting cliffhanger, and figure out what I'm going to do. I'm, I may be doing a little backtracking. Uh, if I decide to do that, it will probably be off camera. Tune in tomorrow for the next exciting installment. Goodbye.